All right. Hello, fellow photographers. Thank you for joining me during today's stream and welcome. So today we are gonna take a look at your street photos uh, for round 31. 31st round. I can't really believe that uh, we have been doing this for such a long time. Can you? Um, if you're watching this from uh, the replay, welcome uh, on the new channel. Uh, there is actually a new photography critique channel, uh, which I should mention it is separate channel from this one. And uh, let me show you, let me show you the channel later actually. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is actually I'm using a different uh, I'm using a different program for music today it's actually playing in different order than uh, it's playing every time so you're gonna listen to some new music I finally figured that out uh, first thing I want to actually do is let me find that is to say thank you to everyone who is supporting the channel and who is a member of uh, this this channel uh, let me say it it's I always forget the whole name it's 18th Jezična Gymnasium Zagreb, uh, Ket Mesarovic, Zanes Addiction, Jiří Kolařík, Benny Tompangi, Brian Egerton, uh, Tomaso, uh, Tim McGraw and David Allison. If you feel like uh, you like what you see, feel free to uh, sign up for the membership, but watching this content is actually uh, enough for me so uh, yeah so first thing that I want to talk about is that uh, there is not going to be a stream uh, next week actually there is not going to be a critique next week uh, first I thought that uh, I would just take a break I guess and then I just thought like uh, I'm gonna miss you guys so much <laughs> uh, no I'm kidding uh, I thought I would do some uh, I would do some Q&A's which I put uh, on my Instagram already a story where you can uh, submit your questions and uh, then I kind of thought like I can put a spin on that and I actually created a new theme in uh, in the Reddit, which is uh, let me show it to you real quick. Okay, I'm gonna bring that up. All right, so we are seeing the Reddit now, right? Uh, actually, when you use this flare discussion and topics, uh, questions and topics for discussion, you can submit uh, basically any question you like. And I wanted to make it more community based, not just you asking questions, but I just thought anyone can post uh, a question either for me or for you know the community and it can be you know anything basically it can be anything but you know if it's more related to photography uh, or street photography uh, better <laughs> uh, it can be just classic Q&A what's in your bag what camera you use to some uh, maybe more uh, complex uh, questions uh, about uh, <laughs> life and the meaning of life and about photography. I already posted two 
uh, things which I'm kind of wondering what's your uh, opinion uh, about and uh, so I thought well I'm, I'm gonna use the next week for the live stream going through uh, your submissions maybe going through uh, some interesting uh, news uh, or whatever we want to do and to, to, to have it more like a talk about photography and chill if that makes sense uh, I do plan maybe uh, to then chop it up on the highlights or something like that post it but and also probably wanna post it on my podcast as well so that's that if you have any questions if you have any uh, topics about photography just go to uh, about photography reddit and submit your question with uh, with this this flare all right so that is that uh, next up I wanted to tell you because it took me quite some time to update I actually updated uh, the, the gallery so if you go to about photography blog uh, and you click the gallery it's it's already been updated uh, there is no winner of round number 30 but uh, you can see and uh, you can see it has been pretty much updated with people uh, so you can see all the winners and when you actually click on the you know the profile you can see some short bio some samples of photos and then there are photos of uh, uh, not photos but interviews when you actually click on that it will bring you uh, to the uh, interview let me take that back <laughs> I will get to the comments uh, I will get to the comments uh, in a in a minute uh, all right so uh, I already mentioned there is a separate channel for the for the critique uh, an extreme uh, the re-upload of this if you're watching this from the replay it doesn't really make sense but I'm gonna take the stream down and re-upload it on uh, the second channel uh, so you know the reasons I already mentioned that in in an update video so if you didn't see it uh, you can check it out it's like one or two minutes uh, update I also created a new I also created a new uh, Instagram account, which you can pretty much found. Uh, I, I did some changes with uh, Instagram. I switched from calling it about photography blog to about photography critique. And I also created about photography stories, uh, which is basically uh, the same thing I used to do with behind the scenes and some stories about photography but I just made it like a short content which is um, actually I mean first thing is or it's it's not in an order but it's just uh, those platforms kind of force you to do vertical content which I, I wouldn't be kind of you know thinking about being forced to do it but with my uh, situation uh, and uh, you know now also kids being sick and sometimes going to kindergarten sometimes not sometimes uh, you just can't really work the short content is actually the one of the few things I can still keep producing and uh, I still wouldn't be doing that but it is actually something that I like knowing some things about like behind the scenes of photography and uh, some interesting facts you might not know and you can actually you can actually find some of that in uh, this photopedia part uh, stories about those particular photos so if you like that you can check it out and uh, Many of you already did. I think I have collectively on one video about 50,000 views on Instagram, YouTube and TikTok combined. 
so uh, so that's that all right last thing before we uh, last thing before we start with uh, the critique is uh, who is going to win round number 30 and now I'm thinking about it uh, the round is still actually not uh, decided yet so you can actually still vote and uh, you should do it just go to the reddit and this is the pinned post this is the channel photography critique uh, which you can subscribe to there is actually uh, I'm slowly migrating the video so there is the video with Alex coming up this Thursday maybe if I have time to edit I will have another video uh, new one actually uh, next week so that's that and with that being said uh, I should actually uh, address the comments right all right so let's go back Eddie's Vox uh, how do I submit my image why the video is so late at night Eastern State Time United States just wondering all right so you can submit your image if you go to aboutphotography.blog slash submit you can actually find it also in the description of this video or you can go just to the reddit uh, slash r slash about photography blog and submit your photo you can submit one per each round and the video is because I'm streaming from Prague Central Europe and it's uh, about 8 p.m. 8 20 p.m. and the reason for that is because uh, I have two small kids and this is actually the only time I can dedicate to yeah it looks like they're sleeping I can dedicate to stream because otherwise they would be like running around and stuff so yeah that's that good morning uh, from Vancouver Canada hello William good morning Gary Phillips I'm Martin from Gary in Charlie Lanches Len is it Lancashire Lancashire sorry for my for butchering that uh, who is surfing hello from Orlando Florida no breaks for you just suck it up <laughs> yeah that's what I thought uh, all right so uh, with that being said let me bring you to the finalist number one uh, actually let me know if the sound is okay I did few sound tests before this but you know you never know if you're not gonna get echo or if you're not gonna get uh, you know how it is uh, I've been streaming for a while and I have encountered all uh, all the things and I've just now realized I can actually open the chat uh, on my mobile phone on my iPhone let me see and I can I can just so I don't have to turn the screen every time all right I forgot my iPhone in uh, my office in, in work in different city and I'm just uh, my iPad and I'm using my iPad as a second screen uh, so don't ask me why I don't use that one for <laughs> maybe I will in the future all right uh, that's uh, enough of that and let me see okay I can actually maybe use iPhone as a second screen let's see so the finalist number one it's uh, shadow and light all right uh, shadow and light and there is no comment 
uh, about this photo. So, uh, for me, there is an interesting, I mean, the photographer caught a nice uh, composition in a sense of a place where you have like two strong shadows and hard light, which is very nicely hitting the people going through some making silhouettes and uh, some you know standing in the light we can see the full colors uh, unfortunately for me uh, I don't really love those uh, silhouettes here I um, think the shape with two people across each other it, it didn't it I would probably wait for something better to happen in a sense of composition of actual subjects within that scene and same goes for the people uh, in the foreground being lit by the color I just don't think the situation is like visually interesting enough for me to like this photo uh, and just the design doesn't do it for me I think like the idea was uh, okay to to use this scene to kind of create uh, silhouettes and people lit by the light but uh, I would just wait for better subjects or have those subjects to do something uh, better I guess but nevertheless this is what you voted for round 31 this is what you voted for so there you have it uh, okay let's add it to the collection and Lucian Dande all right okay thank you for your submissions look this is like this is a proper use of uh, silhouette this is beautiful uh, I guess it is staged I don't know but uh, yeah uh, finalist number two is Emlyn uh, who I did an interview with uh, if you want to check it out you can do it it's in the photopedia she has a profile because she's winner of round number 22 and some people actually already commented on this reminiscent of uh, style pioneered by soul lighter and i know it's soil lighter it's a huge inspiration one of my favorite photographers i'm not trying to copy his work but my eye is naturally going towards scenes i have enjoyed looking at and getting lost uh, all right all right thank you very much all right yeah I kind of like it I'm usually not uh, the, the, the biggest fan of uh, the letters in the scene but I don't really mind it in this one uh, it is uh, really reminiscent a little bit of so lighter but I don't really like to box people in this kind of thing of oh you taking photo as uh, you taking photo as someone therefore it's it's them like you know uh, it's been such a I would say maybe a cliche uh, of uh, street photography that you just take it and it's like oh this is so Martin Parr ish or this is so I don't think Cartier Bresson gets it that much, but Sol Lighter definitely has defined this style. But uh, I like it's kind of like an abstract thing, right? But you have a definition of the silhouette and pleasant colors. So I would say I like I like this photo. Uh, all right, some issues with the sound. Is it working? Uh, let me know in the chat if it's if it's fine for you if it's not too loud I can I can turn it down a little bit uh, photo taken on okay 120 millimeter film 
uh, the nowadays rare Cinestill 800T with my TLR camera. Uh, winter approaches and it and its best uh, feature with it steamed windows. I just can't get enough and the impression they create. Yeah, I agree. It's uh, you just can't resist when you when you see this. All right, so congratulations. I will add it to the collection. And uh, Emlyn has a beautiful Instagram. If you don't follow her, you should definitely give it a try. So moving on to the next one and this is the third finalist i believe it's it yeah uh sleep is a rose all right uh so again a kind of a similar idea as for the four row number one you have a light coming through uh some kind of um, between two walls or something like that and this time we're not catching like we're catching well, yeah, once again, we're catching the subject uh, in the light and we're catching like a silhouette. And once again, my critique is going to be that if you're going to use a silhouette, you're going to use it to to some extent uh, either uh, as a graphic. I don't know if, if you're only hearing it. But I also do... Let me remove the spam and let's delete it. Oh yeah, spam alert. That's the that's that's not spam alert. That's alert that this channel is so big that it brings those spam bots. Isn't it great? Uh, anyways, let's see. I'm still feeling like the music is not working uh, too much. Okay. Let me try to fix that. I will pause it for now and play it that way. Okay, this should work better. All right. So let's get back to the critique. Uh, you made it <laughs> all right so the critique for this one is gonna be quite similar for as uh, for the first one I don't think the subject in the light is is good enough and the silhouette ish kind of person because you know it's it's not complete silhouette it's just person in the shadow is really like I can imagine a little bit better composition to me it feels a little bit more like uh, a snap I can I can see the person probably aimed for that and wanted to check the pose uh, the man lying on the lying on the ground with uh, the woman walking but I don't know I'm not convinced unfortunately uh, but it is what it is as they say and uh, Matthew takes beautiful photos with a light uh, multiple finalist uh, definitely check out his uh, Instagram uh, so now we gonna now we gonna move to the open waters anyone can make it here uh, I don't think this one will though, but unpaid assistant photographer. 
so it's probably so I'm gonna I'm gonna guess it's either like a like a film set with with this old classical car or some um, wedding photo photographer photos and then this guy is let's see is there a story no is he like a street photographer taking picture of, of them taking picture and you are taking picture of them taking picture of, of their taking picture or did I lost it uh, <laughs> okay uh, I don't know or maybe it is assistant so I think I would like to see you uh, I would like to see you being closer uh, and to see more action this is like a shot from behind there is this edge flicker of of this sign which I don't like too much uh, maybe imagine taking pictures from the other side so we could see their faces and that, but then you just I don't know how I would approach that maybe I would try to shoot through the window of the car if there's something with visible or maybe to shoot the scene just flat flat in like 90 degrees uh, I just think this angle is a little bit unfortunate yeah for me I don't uh, really uh, love it too much but thank you for your uh, submission and uh, <laughs> this is Instagram with with zero posts so uh, that's not really what I meant when I said if you when have a Instagram more portfolio. Uh, I just was thinking about checking your other stuff, but don't worry about it. It's fine. Uh, corner to corner. Uh, I really like this photo color wise. It feels a little bit like it's either a bad quality. Uh, taken with a phone or it's like a huge crop uh, the framing is very nice what I especially like is how those lines are kind of wedged into uh, into the corners and goes from corner to corner this one is parallel also goes to the corner uh, then you have those those colors then you have the person uh it's it's it would look beautiful even without person but the person gives this nice feel there are kind of similar curls on the on the uh, t-shirt uh i like it uh, apart from uh, the quality which might be uh which might be uh just uh, the reddit uh, upload i guess but nevertheless it makes it to the selection for now uh, i thought uh, i was looking through the selection and even though there are not that many photos it felt like there are many which i kind of like based on thumbnails and this is one of them just looking for yeah All right, moving on to the next photo, Walking Dead, okay, uh, another photo that I like, uh, mostly for its feel, it's uh, kind of surreal, this light, it's, I don't know if it was a little bit misty or something like that, but, or if that's the edit, uh, usually when I like to see uh, people from the side I like to have their hands separate but this kind of gives this especially with the title Walking Dead and him having the hands like next to the body being just slightly tilt forward or leaned forward it feels uh, it feels uh, great uh, 
I was wondering because of the title I was wondering a little bit if this is happening uh, at the grave grave graveyard or somewhere like that but it seems uh, it is not so um, yeah but but anyways I like it uh, I can even see cropping it a little bit maybe like over there uh, but then the person wouldn't be in the center it would be leaving the frame so that's probably not a good idea yeah I like it as it is it goes to the pre-finalist selection and uh, the urge demand uh, winner of uh, one of the previous rounds with this photo actually so thank you for your submission Varanasi some days ago uh, this has such and all the photos from India and correct me if I'm mistaken this is not in India they have this vibe of uh, just such a photographable place I feel like yeah I feel like it's just I don't know if I'm being like mistaken or just by the place looks so different than um, middle Europe but I, I, I often think that um, people get kind of fooled by looking at photos from abroad and kind of think like you have to travel to get those uh, amazing pictures but as you can see someone taking pictures at their home can create a photo that's like uh, b because of the internet or thanks to the internet it can be abroad for someone else which I, I think it's it's brilliant uh, that's what uh, the social media are brilliant at so this goes to the selection as well uh, I just realized I didn't say too much about the photo but I like it all right thank you for your submission uh, all right this photo all right this is gonna be this is gonna be <laughs> difficult uh, so many cool photos it has a uh, quite similar vibe as the the one from the uh, the walking dad I feel like uh, this one is a little bit cleaner with the background and with just two people if I'm not mistaken one person two people uh, as for the photo from behind, I still think it's it's a great one because it kind of captures the scene beautifully. Uh, this this almost monochromatic uh, image, this blue and blackish, uh, it's really nice. Captured this on foggy evening uh, slash night on my way uh, to meet uh, friends. Uh, that night had interesting atmosphere and had to be shot good that I carry my camera almost all the time with me okay uh, it was also an experiment in closing down the aperture in low light conditions to get my scene in focus and playing with high ISO I actually like the look of this uh, 600 uh, 6400 ISO file okay so that's quite high uh, I even added more grain on the top also processing the image and bringing up 
uh, the exposure a bit, added even more grain uh, to the grain. Yes, I love grain. I think the grain is beautiful in this one. It almost looks like it's a little bit uh, not raining, but this thing between what what's called in English uh, between not raining and raining. You know what I mean? Kind of looks like that. Um, like water dust. It's not water dust. It's like like steam, like cold steam. I don't know, but you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, and people are saying nice uh, atmosphere. Yeah. All right. So let's add it to the collection. Already seven images in the collection, and uh, Julian captured more photos like that. Beautiful. Uh, it is also quite uh, an interesting uh, ratio. It feels like 16 by 9. I don't know. But pretty cool. Thank you for your uh, submission. Tommaso, uh, you should really do something about Tommaso's uh, rolling. <laughs> Not rolling, but. Uh, He's been quite dominating last few rounds. And as you can check the previous round, round 30, he's again leading. So, uh, yeah. And once again, a beautiful photo. Uh, this one, uh, this one would normally go to the selection, but because we have uh, already enough I'm gonna be a little bit nitpicking here and I have to say I am not the biggest fan of this ball being cut I would maybe consider cropping it a little bit to leave the ball out uh, you know working with what we have and you would be kind of like wondering what's going on why is he you know Otherwise, I would probably want the camera to tilt a little bit more to the up state, maybe a little bit further and uh, include the ball as well in this one. Uh, yeah, I would either include more with a bit space above it uh, or just leave it out. That's that's my take on this. But thank you for your submissions and keep up destroying uh, this challenge thank you for anyone who is not following Tommaso yet you can do it with uh, with his Instagram here all right moving on to the next one which another quite nice photo uh, at least a part of the photo you know Every time when you have someone with the gesture, uh, it kind of adds, let me check. Okay, everyone should be sleeping. It kind of adds this um, like visual interest. And then you're kind of wondering what is he pointing at? And then you have this figure, which is a little bit on the edge of the frame, which I'm not the biggest fan. And then of course you have the car and the bicyc bicycle uh, interfering with the subject. Uh, with this not being there and maybe a little bit more space above uh, the character's hand head, I would consider it uh, a great photo or a good photo. Uh, just like that, I think it needs a little bit more work. Uh, but an interesting character, maybe to follow, uh, I guess. Yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, poof. Shane. Some catching some interesting characters. On the streets you're getting really close man that's great thank you for your uh, submission uh, this one uh, it's it, it it has the 
ingredients of uh, a good photo and I kind of looking at like what's what the photographer went for and I think if they had a bit better separation maybe also including the hats of those people or getting more uh, on the top of that and leaving them out just cropping it over here uh, this could be a, a great shot but very complex scene uh, I mean not very complex scene but very uh, many characters uh, here which is you know often hard to kind of fold together and <clears throat> in this one I just think it needs uh, a little bit more of that I'm standing there and waiting and clicking and taking pictures and and uh, doing that until all the characters kind of you know do that that they fit on the photo together uh, yeah that's my that's my take all right thank you for uh, this is a nice silhouette thank you for your submission a windmill in a country of windmills so that's a uh, Netherlands is it uh, I like it so what I like about it, it's it has an interesting uh, edit it's not uh, let me check my screen again I always get fooled by this okay I'm not night shift or true tone on this uh, MacBook uh, but it has uh, an interesting tint I would say maybe like a bluish or grayish it's it's not like black black I feel let me know what what you used for the edit and obviously this structure it's super photographable uh, you also have a person also included a person in here uh, it's nicely composed uh, what's what's a little bit unfortunate and what feels a little bit not weird but kind of cropped is because we have those roofs and I know you know it's uh, it's hard to move buildings around <laughs> right uh, and this this very nice structure nice very nice building it asks you to asks you to to take a picture of that but sometimes the environment around it kind of blocks it in a way that it's kind of impossible to catch in a I don't know maybe I would go even further and include it more of those buildings but this it feels a little bit compressed in a sense that it has been it feels like cut from a much bigger scene just imagine if you if you kind of I don't know clone stamped or you can try it out or just left it uh, away uh, not left it away um, avoid this somehow it would look you know especially with a person maybe like a vertical photo it would look very nice uh, those rooftops are a little bit I don't really like them and then the edit uh, maybe some people say it looks a little bit too dramatic but I don't mind that if that's what what you were going for I just wouldn't mind that a uh, nice picture it uh, doesn't make it to the selection today but very nice uh, some nice sunset uh, and this uh, is it uh, let me see is it your family or something like that and also nice indoor shots so thank you for your submission thank you for supporting uh, the submitting of photos all right Disney couple by Tokyo Zen uh, I like it this this blurness kind of uh, makes it uh, 
kind of makes it uh, I wouldn't say weird but it, it yeah raw raw is the thing that I'm going for kind of makes it almost film ish vibe and okay let me check my settings everything is uh, working perfect I just needed to do a little bit music reset uh, all right I met this couple that are big fans of uh, Tokyo Disneyland their aspiration to make it to Disneyland World in Orlando uh, as for me I once thought that maybe street photography is something involving a long lens and being kind of sneaky about things. Now I work mostly at 35 mm on a full frame sensor and am as obvious as I can be about it. Uh, seems to work better for me. Uh, yeah, I, I, I do agree. I mean, I used to be especially especially when starting with photography uh, it can be intimidating to get closer to people but uh, more I got into it so I started with I, I've got uh, Deluxe 109 which got the zoom lens which was perfect for me but then kind of you, you kind of listen to that to that thing that you know master your prime lens and yada 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 so I've got 50 because I thought um, you know 50 is my it's Cartier Bresson's uh, 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 length um, so I thought yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna do that then I was talking with with Eric Kim and he told me like it's too narrow in a sense that streets used to be further apart now it's more tight and you need to get like 35 or 28 and everyone was like oh my god you should get rico and stuff and it it wasn't actually why uh, i got into rico but when i got into rico uh, i really appreciated that uh that with the 28 millimeter and then going back to 50 felt like I'm standing a little too close with 50 uh, so yeah and you know capturing the scene it also I feel like it makes you better photographer in a sense of you need to compose more elements in that and this is just a simple portrait of, uh, of a couple you know the emotions the focus is on on this man uh, it's a little bit shame that uh, it wasn't a little more wide uh, it wasn't a little more closed aperture to have also her in focus I don't know if that's if, if it's movement that makes him makes her blurry but I would guess it's maybe out of focus thing so having them both in focus I would say uh, a very nice shot for a couple uh, for the couple but also if you have more photos like that for maybe some kind of documentary kind of uh, thing uh, it can add up uh, together nicely so let's add it to the collection for now and uh, Tokyo Zen takes great oh this is also a nice moment is it also at the same bar because of the windows uh, probably uh, yes all right beautiful photos thank you uh, this one it feels a little bit uh, <clears throat> I don't really like how this is cropped uh, at the top I would just shift the camera tilt the camera a little more up to have maybe cut it as much as over here and have enough space about those uh, women uh, women and above him 
and still leaving the space for the shadow and then it would be like a nice beach shot when if you get lucky you kind of hit this uh, pose or walking or whatever uh, this is this is great from the distance to have someone like that with with the hands like that um, so I think it just it needs a little bit more work in terms of uh, the c composing so not cutting uh, parts off unless it's uh, intended or needed and this doesn't really feel uh, intended uh, couldn't find your Instagram so uh, feel free to comment it next time uh, this one it is beautiful the light especially the light uh, I kind of felt like we had this shot from uh, Takayuki Gono if I'm not mistaken and it was also I think LA uh, I don't know if it wasn't even like the same structure. I will maybe try to find it. Uh, it's funny, maybe this is like a common place to shoot. It's uh, the light is especially beautiful. Like the composition is clean, maybe I'm missing like a person over here, you know, standing doing something, or you know, Michael Jordan jumping with the basketball or whatever but th the light is really beautiful the composition is great and I would I would just probably taking photo like that I would go there at the same time I don't know if it's dawn or if it's um, uh, if it's late uh, later in the evening and I would just try to catch someone uh, being there uh really pleasant tones thank you for your submission once again uh this one this one i had in mind when i saw the beach photo and i just had in mind that uh this one is a little more clean and compositionally everything kind of felt into place yeah okay if you would be nitpicking you would say I would love to have this subject a little more in the eye of the of the tree or whatever it is beautiful this girl beautiful uh, has the I'm gonna assume it's a girl uh, it's a beautiful pose very like yeah and even like you can find small crops like if you crop it like that, it also works. It's maybe even better. It also works like that, like this, uh, like this. It's just, I like the photo. It's, it's very nice. Uh, this is um, a candidate, <laughs> I would say, candidate. Uh, Let's see, 10 photos already, oh my god. Uh, Pranai, all right. And it is in color, oh my god. It's maybe even more incredible in color. Incredible. I hope the spelling is right. Uh, beautiful, so thank you for your submission. Uh, book browsing during COVID uh, New York Lake Monochrome 246 right we have probably the same lens uh, f1.4 uh, 246 was something I con was considering uh, I didn't go for it I got a regular 240 but let me know how you how you like it be interesting to hear from another like a shooter uh, book browsing okay it's referring to those three characters uh, so let's talk about the edit I think it's a little bit looks a little bit overexposed um, a little bit bright I would just 
kind of make the dark tones maybe darker to have a bigger contrast maybe pull down the highlights or the whites uh, don't know how I feel about the edit like composition wise to the building uh, it feels okay it feels shot pretty straight on uh, maybe a little bit leaving a little less room to the bottom of the bicycle I would really like to see a little more room to the pole um, but the, the top is nice the situation itself it's not a peak moment it's just I can see this in some kind of documentation of maybe COVID times maybe that place during COVID times uh, so I think it's um, it's it's okay it's just uh, it's just okay I would say it like that uh, because it is not a peak moment but maybe with uh, Satya Rodrigo okay but maybe with um, uh, in, in company of other uh, pictures from that place could make a nice um, it could make a nice group of images documenting that time all right uh, and congratulations for being uh, selected for uh, is it Leica gallery yeah Leica photography okay right thank you for your submission uh, the last night is it okay taken with a Nikon D70 S and Tamron SPAF 7300 uh, f4 to 5.6 uh, all right uh, editing done with Lightroom mobile uh, I like it I don't know if the second subject is necessary I would try to bring up the exposure just a little bit it feels a little too dark even for you know it was shot uh, during the night I guess uh, I would leave the shadows black that's that's great uh, but I would probably uh, pull the sky a little bit up uh, as for the subjects I don't feel the second one is necessary she is a she's a good subject by itself so I would consider either like this it's kind of like rule of thirds kind of thing which I'm not the biggest fan but I, th I mean like removing him by the crop already feels better or making it a horizontal photo or even going like this uh, yeah I would lose the second subject two people feels a little bit weird uh, yeah greetings from Boston all right hello what time is it in Boston uh, I always forget if it's ahead or behind London is behind is it so Boston is gonna be let's see let me guess nine hours so it's gonna be 1 p.m. or something like that yeah let me know what time is it over there and Tamar okay some some nice photos thank you for your uh, submission Uh, this one I really like it just feels it's so interesting it was probably done with uh, the panning moving the camera a little bit with the with with, with those uh, that's why you're getting everything else blurry which is uh, for me a little bit hit or miss I like how the diagonal is going up um uh, interesting shot from from that place i would maybe consider again two subjects i don't know how to feel about it maybe even making it as a vertical photo losing one of them but still still a nice photo going for going to the collection in taiwan okay 
uh, Taiwan, Tainan city, okay. I love Taiwan, uh, Taiwan, it was beautiful. Very Asian vibes, uh, I love the food there. Thank you for your uh, submission. 3 p.m. on the East Coast, so I wasn't that <laughs> wrong. Wasn't too wrong, okay. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. Something in Italy. Basio al ponte pedanale sul naviglio ticinese. Okay, you did it. You did it, so I kind of break my tongue on this. No, I mean, like, I Italian, it's a, it's, a, it's a beautiful language, and it's one of those I don't understand. Uh, this scene, when I look at it more, it has this this great potential because you have the pair kissing in the background, you have this man looking at them and then in the foreground it's uh, a little bit messy, you know, this guy uh, not a character to write home about in the foreground, okay, I can kind of see this layering thing but it's not good enough, I guess. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, I mean, yeah, kind of. And then the focus is a little bit weird. Why everything is in focus? They are just. I don't know if they're slightly in fo out of focus or not. The focus is on on him. They are out of focus. I don't know what aperture was that, but they had to be like really close. Would love to to see some some better characters in the foreground, and it would be pretty cool. Uh, thank you for uh, your submission. Some very artistic. This is artistic. This is a nice scene. You can't really see it too much or too well in this small screen, but it seems really artistic. Okay, thank you for your submission. Looking forward to see more of your photos. Uh, competing with time, a little bit same as um, shot on Leica M10R, Voidlander 75. A uh, little bit, we had already one with uh, this tilt screen, this diagonal going up. Uh, this one is also artistic it's just missing something uh, I don't know maybe it's the way she's interfering with the car maybe having her alone I know it had to be hard to catch her kind of like semi in the focus but it's it's not it's not mm, let's see it's not abstract enough and yet it's not um <laughs> concrete enough i i guess it's uh it's okay just i don't like those two subjects interfering together maybe if the car wasn't overlapping her i don't know missing a little bit something uh <clears throat> and victor takes okay so this is something you are really going for okay interesting so thank you for your is this your dog <laughs> chihuahua okay uh thank you for your uh, submission uh this one when i first saw it as a thumbnail i think it was kind of cropped a little bit and i thought wow this is so such an old looking photo and i think uh Someone wrote, let's see, my only criticism is overall composition feels unbalanced. Uh, I don't know if it's unbalanced, but for me it feels like there is one more subject that there should be. I could, because this building, it's very photogenic, I would say. It's with, with the repeating pattern, patterns and the cleanness of the of the with the ground and everything so i can see this photo with just this this bicycle you know bicycles are maybe more photogenic 
than uh, than not 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 buy cycles. Uh, but even like having this man an empty scene, I would just like to see this scene with only one subject, either this one or this one. I think this one too 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 many subjects. Uh, but a great eye for the composition and for the shot. Okay, and then the Instagram didn't work for some reason. I don't know if you changed it or switched it or whatever. But yeah, whatever. Uh, this one. Uh, let me switch the music to something a little more cheerful. Uh, it feels okay also color wise composition wise you know the environment the the tunnel and how it's almost like wedged or it is kind of wedged uh, to the corner uh it feels nice just those subjects are again if if there was only one subject i could kind of maybe close my eyes but like those two i don't think neither of them is perfect and it just doesn't really convince me the, the title is connected which is probably i don't know if the person is looking at the phone okay and then the other one which you can't quite see is also maybe um Yeah, not really doing it for me, unfortunately. Sorry. Uh, Chitan. Uh. <laughs> uh. Okay, I see what you went for. I, I didn't quite understand until now, because I s only saw it in thumbnail. Art and beyond. So for those of you who are uh, listening this in car or somewhere and ki can't see it, it's Chitan. Uh, he found an art on a wall picturing birds and found birds. <laughs> did you did you bring bread or something to feed them? Uh, it looks there like they are feeding or something, maybe. I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I get the joke. Um, is it enough? I don't know. I like the photo. I will put it into the selection for now. I don't think it's going to quite make it because we already have 12 photos. But... But... But hey. Okay, uh, a new profile picture, is it, if I'm not mistaken? Uh, is it the time of the year? Tommaso also changed his picture uh, and some beautiful, uh, beautiful photos. I like that one with Seraphine. Okay, yeah, this is just, I need to visit India. It's probably gonna be on my list after <laughs> my kids get to college, <laughs> I guess. And then Japan, yeah. Uh, it's all gonna be closed because of the COVID, anyways. But you can travel through the Google Street Walk. <laughs> uh, that could be a cool challenge to take photos through the Google Street Walk. Uh, Gum wall, is it what I think it is? Seattle, Washington. Gum wall, is it like. So, is it like a, like a chew gum? Or is it like condoms? I can't quite <laughs> make my mind around this. Maybe someone from, from that location can tell me. It looks a little bit weird. And if it's from the chew gum, it must smell really weird. Uh, uh, Composition-wise, it's it's. I would just shoot it horizontally, because you get this cutting things off and stuff. This is a popular activity in a small alley in 
downtown Seattle pretty gross which doesn't really answer my question if it's uh, condoms or chew gums both it's pretty gross <laughs> I'm gonna lean towards chew gums uh, shot on Porta 400 film with Rolly 35 s okay okay I don't know how you can how you do that with uh, or it's not roll flex right because then I, I kind of quite get how you would change the orientation yeah compositionally it needs a little bit more work I don't like the cutting off this uh, Shalko okay what's this camera I don't know all right thank you for your submission uh, ta -ta 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 this one uh, Catania in color <laughs> oh Jesus no dinner tonight <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, oh yeah this picture uh, I just couldn't resist to this beautiful Sicilian light uh, in, a, in different region in our cities uh, I think the light is nice it's just those two characters they don't really go together in a sense that um, they too much in the middle not much separation in between them um, okay the man looks okay but it's the pose is nothing special she's on the phone the moment is not really a big moment for me unfortunately uh, yeah and okay let me bring that Okay. Okay, thank you for your submission. Uh, that was a famous chewing gum wall in Seattle. <laughs> uh, I was almost sure it was chewing gums. But don't blame me, it, it just looked weird. Uh, T. Uh, LWE 2022 Pikachu from a horror movie uh, One of the guests I had uh, Alex Kilby from uh, the photography I uh, Told me this one thing that keeps getting back to me uh, and it was interesting subject doesn't make it for an interesting photo and then this is obviously super interesting this um, this Pikachu costume on motorbike but let's face it the composition is really unfortunate it's I don't uh, yeah that's just it's it's too messy it's um yeah that's that's what i would say about this uh, okay i think it, it's gonna look good on a small thumbnail uh, but you have just so much beautiful compositions than this uh, like this one but thank you nevertheless for the submission all right, before we continue, thank you, Marius uh, Dascalo, for becoming a member. Thank you very much for supporting the channel and becoming the 10th member of this uh, wonderful, wonderful community. Uh, all right. 
night. Skopje, November 22, so it was taken recently. Uh, reflection. Uh, it looks okay. Interesting colors. Uh, it's just the moment wise, not a super special moment. And if we going only for the kind of design kind of thing, it's not like a top. If it, it, it relies too much on this reflection, which doesn't really add that much to the photo. I think interesting idea maybe is something would be happening inside. Juxtapose it with something interesting happening outside. I would be like, all right, but um, yeah, needs a little bit more work. But thank you for your uh, submission, Zdravko. Some cool shots from Skopje. Okay, thank you very much for your submission. Uh, this is a funny photo. Uh, it would be cool to have some people, even though I can, I can, I think it works even without people. Uh, but um, I don't know. It's a little bit too clumped up. Like they are too far, far, far apart, being at the edge of. Um, of the of the screen with it, it's cutting this pole I would probably take a step back and tilt the screen a little bit so we have a breathing room next to that uh, losing the pole I would take a photo like that and then I would stand there and wait for two people walking one eating hot dog and the other one having ice cream and I think that would be amazing picture and it's maybe it's probably impossible to get but just this situation it kind of makes me think about this thank you very much for your submission Russell Jones Davis okay uh, beautiful composition in this one. Very nice dog. I don't know if I asked you already. Womble. Uh, is it your dog? Walking the dog. Probably. Uh, not many people are walking um, someone else's dogs. Uh, I know that because our family has a dog and uh, not many people comes to our house to walk our dog we have to do it ourselves yeah uh, anyways this person is also walking probably his or her dog uh, feels a <laughs> like I'm sorry this feels a little bit like it was you were you were holding the camera and you tripped and it was falling down and it took the shot uh, but, but not not to not to mock that. Uh, I think it's 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 a little bit weird. I know what you kind of were going for, cutting off those people's uh, faces, hats, and stuff. It's just maybe too weird of an angle. Maybe going straight to the ground for this Elliot Arid kind of shot would m make it better. Um, tough guy big heart if I would go for juxtaposing this guy for the dog I would I would even consider stopping him and asking if you can take a portrait and maybe he would pick up the dog and then you would have this tough guy with tattoos uh, and and then juxtaposing it with this dog which is of course not it's not um, it's not candid anymore but it's it's really hard for I mean going for those diagonals it's it's better than just shooting it like straight on I think it's it's a little bit better it wouldn't be 
interesting shot um, but yeah it feels a little bit accidental uh, to me uh, sorry about that I hope it's not uh, it's not harsh uh, too much all right another dog okay so thank you for your thank you for your uh, uh, submission looking forward to see more uh, this one uh, <laughs> well uh it's not really an interesting photo the exposure feels a little bit weird um and yeah it's just the exposure it's overexposed behind them and the situation two people talking to each other with nothing really special um going on around them i don't think this is not a peak moment and uh, as for that i don't yeah i think i would maybe try to get closer to shoot them like maybe straight on filling the frame with the faces or just getting closer and shooting one face and having the other guy in in uh, the foreground which is you know um <laughs> A little bit weird when you have two people no one's around to get like one meter away and shoot their faces off like with the shoot shoot so many photos with their faces in them uh, yeah the, the, they would probably question why you do that uh, but then again as with the previous photo it's a question if the situation was even photographable uh, I know Gary Vinogrand said everything's photographable but um, I'm not sure if this scene is all right but maybe I'm mistaken uh, let me uh, know all right before we move uh, to the finalist selection let me just remind you that uh, next week you can submit your um, Submit your question Questions and topic for discussions. We're gonna have a little more chill and talking about photography. It can literally be anything uh, I've already submitted to uh, and you can also comment on those and Just uh, You know share your uh, opinion it doesn't have to be related to that photo it's just reddit doesn't really allow uh, I mean this the way our subreddit is set is it doesn't allow to post without pictures uh, if you want to generate pictures with text I've already uh, I already included uh, this website which does it for free and you can do it fancy like that or you can just post a favorite photo of your end post unrelated question uh, I was uh, able to figure out how to set up the auto moderation so it doesn't really interfere with with that and that we that being said I will be looking forward to uh, hear your uh, discussions and uh, looking forward to see your discussions and uh, photos. Uh, all right. So, let's get. Uh, this was round number thirty-one, right? Okay. Let's see. So, this is the finalist number one, two, three. And then we have to cut nine images off. <sighs> oh, 
Okay, this is going in. I just like it. It's just so the composition is insane. I really like it. So we have one to go. Uh, Varanasi, I'm gonna remove it. Walking Dead, I'm gonna decide between this one and this one. Hmm. Disney couple, I like it. Art and Beyond, I like it. Just in this company, I will have to remove it. This one, oh man. I will probably remove it as well. Okay. Uh, how many we have? Nine. I have to remove three. Uh, I'm gonna leave in this one. I'm gonna remove the couple. I'm gonna remove the Venice Beach. Seven. So it comes down between t this one and this one. Oh, I don't know. Uh. This one looks like from a movie, something like that. Ah, this is difficult. This one is more clean. Compositionally, they both okay. This is, this is person from behind. This is from, hmm. Which one do you prefer guys? I'm gonna probably remove. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <sighs> I'm gonna remove this one. Sorry. So there you have it. Uh, don't forget to vote. Uh, and let me bring my screen back and this is going to be <laughs> yeah having a hard time yeah uh, and this is going to be re-uploaded to that new channel uh, if you missed the start don't forget to submit your questions or just topics for discussion and I will uh, I will see you guys. Uh, I will see you guys. Let's turn it off. I will see you guys next week, actually, uh, during the talking about photography and chill video. So until then, have a great uh, day, night, lunch, whatever you having right now. And thank you once again. Uh, for your support for uh, supporting the channel and I believe I've said happy Thanksgiving okay okay and we're gonna have Chris Christmas soon right all right so I will see you guys thank you